Hi there and welcome to this video in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series. Uh, and in this video, we're going to uh, continue deploying an application to a Kubernetes cluster. Basically, what we're going to be doing here is um, uploading a container, a Docker container, to a container registry so it's then ready to deploy to a container's a Kubernetes uh, cluster. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is using the IBM Cloud CLI. So if you want to follow along, you'll need to have the IBM Cloud CLI installed. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is um, actually logging into the container registry that we've, we've uh, created in an earlier video. Uh, we're going to create a namespace within that container registry. What we're then going to be doing is I'm going to rebuild my Docker container. Uh, I'm going to tag the container and then I'm going to push it up to, uh, to the repository so that it's ready to deploy to Kubernetes. So very quickly, these are the commands that, uh, that, that you'll need to uh, be able to run to do this. So the uh, the first couple there are about actually logging into your IBM Cloud account using the IBM Cloud CLI. So uh, there's the, the login command. And if you've got a single sign-on account, you'll just need the, uh, the uh, minus SSO option there. But again, if you just type in IBM Cloud login, then um, you just follow the, the screen props. I'm not going to show you me logging into my account on screen. Then we just need to make sure we're targeting the right region. So what we can do there is IBM Cloud Target minus R, and then follow that up with the region that you're interested in. So really the region where your uh, container uh, repository is. So mine's in a UGB, so I use the UGB argument. But uh, again, if you're in US South or another part of the world, uh, then you can um, use the minus R and then the, uh, the the correct code for your particular area. Uh, what we're going to do, what I'm then going to do is um, rebuild my Docker container. So we just got a Docker build command there. And I'm going to log into my uh, container repository. So it's the IBM Cloud CR login command. Um, and uh, we're then going to add a namespace uh, to the container registry. So that's the namespace add command. Uh, we're then going to tag the Docker container. So again, back to Docker commands here. And then we're going to push the container um, up to the container registry. And then we're just going to list uh, the images just to make sure that we've, we've got it up there. And it's all up there and happy. So again, nothing too complicated. So um, so let's get on with it. So as I mentioned, I've already logged into my um, IBM Cloud account using the um, IBM Cloud CLI. If I just do a listing of my directory, you can see that I'm actually still within the uh, the, the source code directories of the uh, the example health application as well. In fact, I'm in the uh, I'll do PWD. You can see that I'm actually still in the site directory. So there we go. Okay, so um, let's um, start out then. So if you remember in the last video, what we actually did was we, we created a Docker container and then we um, actually ran that Docker container locally. So as I said, what we're going to be doing in this video is actually recreating the Docker container and then we're actually going to push it up to uh, a container registry within IBM Cloud. So the first thing I'm going to do is just rebuild my Docker container. So let's type the uh, command in there again. So it's Docker build, um, no cache, Minus T example health and uh, just a dot on the end to, to build in this particular directory. So it goes building my Docker container for me. And there we go. So it's completed um, building my Docker container. Right. So the next thing I want to do is, is actually um, start using my container registry within RVM Cloud. So I'm going to log into my container registry. So all I can do there, all I need to do there is IBM Cloud. CR, so CR is the container registry plugin, and then just type login. Now, if you don't have the plugin installed, then it's likely to error here, and it will actually tell you how to actually install the the, uh, the container registry plugin. In fact, this is now telling me that I I have a new version that I can I can create that I can download and use. So you can see that I'm a little bit out of date here. So what I can then do is actually upgrade my plugin. So let's do that very quickly. It won't take a won't take long to do that, so just copy and paste that command there, and uh, we'll just go away and do that. So there you go, my plugin's now um, upgraded. It took about ten seconds, didn't it? So um, you can see that I'm actually logged into my container registry, and you can see which one that I'm logged into to as well. So just take note of, um, in particular, this part here. So you can see that I'm in UK.ICR.io. Yours might look slightly different. Um, so when you're using the commands that you see next, just make sure that uh, 
if yours is in a different region then uh, make sure you use the correct region as, as noted here. Okay, so now that we have uh, logged into our uh, our uh, container registry, what we need to do is actually add a namespace. So namespace is like a, I suppose it's like a box that you can then put all the uh, uh, containers into that maybe belong to a, a particular project. So it can be like a project name. So um, to create that, we just type in IBM Cloud, then CR again because it's a container registry command. So we've got name namespace add. And then I'm going to call this example health. Let's press the button. Give it a couple of seconds. And we can see that it's now added my namespace example health. So that's great. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually tag my container. Um, and we're going to use uh, some of the information in the last couple of steps as well. So this is a Docker command. So I'm going to type in Docker tag. Uh, example health and I'm going to use the uh, the latest build so I'm just put colon latest right now this this is where we're using this information here so as I say if yours is different if yours shows up as something different then use whatever you've got showing up here uh, so I've got UK dot ICR so I'll go container registry dot IO and then we're going to use um, example health because that's the name of my um, namespace and then I need the name of my container so it's going to, that I've tagged so again example health and uh, I'm going to give that a tag of 0, uh, dot zero, dot 0 so that's my version number okay so we've now um, tagged that so we've got a tag on that okay so the next step is actually to to push it to the repository so this is another docker command so we use docker this time push and then it's UK so again whatever you've got here uk.icr.io slash example health um, example health and then the, uh, the tag again 1.0.0 so effectively you can you can copy this this part of the command really and then uh, we just press enter and uh, what you can see now is it's actually just um, pushing the, um, the container up into my container repository so it shouldn't take too long a couple of a uh, couple of minutes at most Okay, so it's finished pushing, and uh, you can then just get a confirmation there, and you get a, a digest hash as well. So, um, so that's all pushed up. So the next thing we can do is just uh, just show that it's there. So I can type in IBM Cloud uh, CR, and then image list. So it's listing my images within my container registry. Still the right. There we go, and uh, give that a couple of seconds. And there you go. You can see that my uh, my my image has been um, pushed up. So you can see the repository. Uh, you can see the tag. You can give it a digest number as well. And um, you can see when it was created. And also here, quite interesting, you see the uh, security states as well. So see, there's five security issues around this. So again, this is uh, an example of where the the inbuilt security and health checking tools within the container registry are actually working as well. So if we just go into um, uh, go into my IBM Cloud account as well. So if we go and have a look under uh, my um, Kubernetes clusters, and we can go and have a look at Container Registry on the left hand side here. And um, if I then go and look at my namespaces, so you can see my namespace here, example health. And I'll just open that up, and again you can see the the images that are in there when it was last updated. Um, again, you see the repositories. So basically, you can just go through here and see what was there. Uh, you can see here it's got the security status again. So if you want to see what those are, you can just click on there, and uh, it will then give you um, a, a rundown of the uh, of what those issues are. You see, I've got five vulnerabilities in this. So um, what I what I should really be doing is going back to my developers 
and saying some, you know, um, that the container registry um, vulnerability advisor has actually um, pointed out some uh, some vulnerabilities. You know, can can you do something to fix these? And um, and and then we'll create a new version and upload that without the uh, uh, without the vulnerabilities. Okay, so that's the end of this video. As you can see, it was uh, very simple. So this was the step really of actually getting the container up into a container registry just so that it's ready to deploy to our Kubernetes cluster. So again, here's a couple of links to some information within my GitHub repository. So um, this gives you a, uh, the first one is a link to a paper which gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this to save you watching the videos over and over again. And, um, and the second um, link there is the um, link to the actual code. But that's it for this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, watch out for the next video where we're actually going to be pushing this up into our Kubernetes cluster. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you next time.